Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this angular part, we will learn that how we can start with the style. So first of all, we will talk about a component style. Then we will talk about global and internal style. And we will also learn that how we can handle style when we have multiple component. And at the last, we will discuss important interviews question. But before that, I want to share some information with you. If you are looking to purchase domain name or hosting, then you can purchase it with the domain racer and you will get multiple benefits from here. Plans are just started with a 59 rupees per month for hosting and they provide 20 times faster hosting, e-commerce tool, website back backup, secure mail, free SSL certification and much more. Go to the official website of domain racer, check out the benefits and grab the deal. So let's start with the first part, which is component style. As you know, whenever we are creating any component, we have four files normally. First one is CSS. Second one is HTML. Now you can see it more clear. Space.ts, specs.ts and ts. So component.css is basically reserved for writing the CSS in our uh, component. So let's say this is our uh, h1 tag and it have heading class. And uh, let's say you want to add, okay, so just put here name here. And let's say now you want to add red color to this class. So just simply put here heading and just simply put here color. Red. And you can see that this is really simple and this is working fine also, right? So with that way we can use our uh, component style but let's say you have multiple component and in every page or every component we have a similar kind of heading and we want to add a red color to all these style so do we need to write the style inside our uh, component.ts actually not because when we write the style inside app.component.ts it will not gonna work on the other components so where we have to write the style so that it can apply for the all components for that you can just just remove from here and add it inside the style.css and just simply put it here right and now it will be applied for the all components so let's check is it working or not so i am going to create one more component just simply put here ng g for generate c4 component and login which is my component name so let's wait a moment. Our component is just about to create. All right. So now let's use this component where we can use it. So let's just simply use here app slash login. And you can see that we this is working fine. So now let's uh, add this style or add this class to the login works also. So let's go to the app HTML and let's make it H2 tag, right? And add the same class, which is we added over the H1 tag, right? Whenever we will add this class on any tag, it can be a H2, H3 or P tag, color will be changed. So just right here heading. And now you can see that this is working fine and we have the red color on both. So let's say you are not using that style over uh, inside the style.css. If you were just you just removed from here and you will try to use it inside app.component, you will find that this is apply only on single component, which is app.component. It will not work with the login component. So if we have to write the style for multiple components or, or any class or any tag which is using the multiple component, so we can uh, what we can do here we can put it in our our global css which is style.css right so that's fine now the thing is what is internal css so sometimes we just want to let's say we have internal uh, or uh, we have just a very small component uh, which have just one or two tags and we don't want to create a style tag here a style file here so or you just don't want to use it. So that time what you can use here, you can just use your style inside here. So just simply put here heading and 
just put here color let's say green and you will find that we have a green color for component but not for login works so if you did not catch that why this is working only one thing i will just want to explain here because we just write here heading uh, with the green color uh, only on app.component.ts that's why it will just change the color of that one right and login there is a no impact on login okay so we just learn that what is internal style and if you want that you can also add here inline style right simply put here style color or let's let's say hot pink and you will find that this is also working fine okay so now you might have one more question so we applied the same class inside a uh, style tag which is our inline style uh, sorry internal style if you just remove that one and we also just write the same class inside style.css so why it, it doesn't pick here red color why it just pick here uh, a green color because it's about the priorities so whenever we are making a component so first priority to style go go for the inline style then for internal style after that it will just catch out the uh, component dot css file and at the last it will consider the uh, style dot css so let's say if we have the same class defined inside our style dot css and inside app dot component dot css so it will pick the color from app dot component dot css because it have the higher priorities right so that's all for style and this is the interview question in interview question they can ask that in which type of style we have the higher priority so you can say that inline style have the higher priority than internal after that uh, component style and at the last we have priority for global style so thanks for watching this video if you have any query you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video